Beyondrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode here of Thornton Hill Zoo. So today we're going to go ahead and look at the phase two section of the uh, savannah section of Thornton Hill Zoo here. So yeah, last time we left off, actually I had to check because it's been a little bit since we visited this area. And uh, as a result, this uh, it's going to look a lot different to y'all who don't um, frequent the streams, basically. <laughs> this is going to look way, way different and um, uh, basically just way added on. There's a ton more here. So um, yeah, last time we looked, we saw the elephants there. And we saw a little bit of the cheetah hunt and most of the cheetah exhibit there. And uh yeah, some of the tortoises and the aviaries back this way and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, yeah, as you see in front of us here, we have um, this awesome new sign for what I was working on before uh, for the cheetah run. Oh, you can kind of see the... Uh, the grandstand back here. I showed that off last time for our cheetah run there. So yeah, shout out to Crocs there uh, for this amazing cheetah run sign. I basically I had this basically the same thing in uh, in my <laughs> in my mind wanting to make it, but I just didn't have the know how or the willpower there basically to uh, do it and. Um, yeah, basically Rock Crocs was like, I got you. I got you, buddy. And then there you go. He uh, made it and it looks amazing there. So yeah, big shout out to Crocs here. The Harris Family's Cheetah uh, cheetah Run. And you even have the uh, Facebook.com slash Thornton Hill Zoo there and the Thornton Hill Zoo uh, website. Love those kind of details. And that's why I'm so glad that Crocs went ahead and made that for us there. So big, big shout out to him. Oh my gosh, my cat just knocked over the gate to the room. I heard it. And I'm sure you all did too. That's what that was. Don't worry. It's all good. Anyways, here's the <laughs> finished out um yeah like i said kind of grandstand area for our uh cheetah where's a cheetah do we see a cheetah i don't see there's one right there um but yes yeah, so here's our finished out kind of cheetah run area there with the uh, grandstand. So yeah, really, really like how all of that came out there. So yeah, there's that whole section, but let's go ahead and move around the corner here to a lot, a lot, a lot of new stuff. So this is gonna start off all of the fun new stuff there. And as you can see here, we have a hippo statue, two hippo statues actually, that's right. I haven't been over here in a little bit. It's been a few weeks since I built all this um, and have been over here. So, um, but anyways, yeah, this is our um, underwater hippo viewing area there, which is gonna start you off kind of looking at the entire hippo habitat. At. So, um, yeah, this is your little plaza here. Um, here's the little uh, coin uh, donation thingy that uh, was made by just Goron, I believe, from uh, their recreation zoo. There's one of the hippos right there walking on the bottom of the water there. Um, but yeah, this is made by just Goron. Love that. Been using this all over the zoo there. Uh, some of the Simply Savannah signs over there as well. And yeah, here's your first look at the uh, hippo habitat, at least the underwater part. And oh, you know what we can do? Uh, this right here are some uh, vents right there. And this was pre-aquatic pack. You can go ahead and add in uh, some actual vents. And yeah, we can put some of that crud back down. That's what's supposed to be is like some leaves and maybe some leftover like lettuce or something that got stuck in the vent or something like that. So that's what that little detail is supposed to be there. So um, yeah, there's the underwater viewing section for the hippo habitat. Let's go ahead. Mm, we have choices here. We have choices. Uh, I like how this area looks here. Hey, real quick shout out to, uh, let me look up these, um, these overhangs here. There's a big set on the workshop uh, made by somebody. And let me look that up real quick and I'll be right back at you with who made them because I'm sure it's going to take me a while to find them now that I'm doing community showcases uh, every Saturday. My blueprints are just filled to the brim with amazing things there. So I still can't find them. So yeah, let me, let me look for them real quick. Okay. It did take a little bit. I found them. It's Rusty Shades by Annika Nele. Annika Nele. Uh, I'll be sure to link all these kind of things down below that and um, you know a few other things that we've pointed out there. But yeah, really, really like the the shade covers um, right here by Annika Nele. The Rusty Shade Cover. I don't know why I feel like I have to sing it when I do it. But um, yeah, they fit in over here really, really well. So um, let's go. Since we're talking about the hippos, we'll go up this way. Like I said before, we have uh, some choices that we have to make here a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go this this way but uh, we'll turn back down this way and I forgot you can kind of see the top of this exhibit here here's an implied habitat this is for meerkats yes this is for meerkats here and uh, you can see a little dome right here some people have actually made these like real like IRL kind of thing uh, with actual glass and uh, having a little pathway there but this is just supposed to be an area where kids could kind of go from this little uh, tunnel section right through here we'll get a closer look at this afterwards but a little tunnel section that goes through here they would walk down and then kind of pop up into the middle of the meerkat habitat 
that there. Um, and yeah, I've seen a few uh, zoos do this um, IRL and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's what that would kind of be there. Your meerkat habitat. We'll take a look at that in uh, greater detail after uh, we take a look at the uh, hippos here. So yeah, as we come around the corner, here is a uh, really good look at our kind of hippo bay or hippo harp. No, it's not a harbor. This isn't the aquatic pack, so it's not a harbor there. So, uh, but no, the uh, the hippo hippo cove or something like that. And big shout out to Nicholas Lion Rider. You can kind of see some of these rocks right here, which are um, which came out right before the aquatic pack was announced. Uh, Nicholas Lion Rider made a um, recolorable. Uh, he was the first one to do a faux rock set, basically in Planet Zoo, right before uh, official Planet Zoo released faux rocks. So um, I actually used them in this ha hippo habitat, and uh, I have no intention of taking them out because I want them to just always. They look good. They look good in here. Take a while, and you know what? Uh, may as well leave them in. So <laughs> why not? So over here we have an area um, that I think we heard about the educator. Uh, the educators, yeah, get uh, released or whatever for uh, Planet Zoo. So I kind of made this little um, area out here before we heard about them not being able to throw food into the water. Um, I kind of set up an area where we could put one of our education stands right here, or educator talks. That's what it is. I always forget the name of it. Um, but yeah, that's gonna have to remain a implied thing because yeah, again, the educators can't throw um, food into water exhibits or past water or anything. So, but yeah, we have this whole little um, kind of information center. What I think I'll do is set up an educator talks like right here and or as we go around the corner here this is actually just a building so we can kind of flush this out a little bit and maybe put one of the talks inside there but um yeah that's just a little education center an education area i should say for the hippos then over this way is some more little general theming and everything as we're kind of going on this uh, hippo trail um and yeah you get to see the uh the land portion of the uh, the hip hip hop hip hop anonymous uh, oh there he is look at him go do, 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 do. oh he was so pumped to go take down that tire over there just had to go run so fast i love it that was that was adorable but yeah so this just goes into a dead end actually so i hate doing that i hate putting things into a dead end <laughs> but um yeah that's what we did over here it's kind of a dead end uh um, area of the zoo so you can go all the way around there uh, read some stuff about the hippos watch the hippos but yeah overall you're gonna go to a dead end and have to walk all the way back around and again that's why I hate doing dead ends because you have to just kind of retrace uh, retrace your steps so um, but alas we did do a dead end so there it is so uh, but yeah there is the hippo cove and we'll get a better look at that um, as we do an overhead view and everything so let's head back downstairs and we'll go look at the meerkats there there's the entrance for the kids to kind of go into I just did the the, the go into the abyss go into the the void of blackness and then you'll kind of pop out onto the other side there to uh the little dome where you get to see the meerkats and stuff so uh, again, big shout out to Simply Savannah. All these little signs that kind of look similar like this. The yellow and green and I think there's like a red or some other color one. Uh, those are all made by Simply Savannah and I use them a ton throughout the uh, the area here because they just work super duper well. Like super duper well. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and we're going under some uh, two different bridges here. One of the bridges, that was for humans right there. And this other one that we're going under right now is a little bit bigger and that is for animals. Animals there. So yeah, we're going to take a look at a big exhibit under there. Here's a little terrarium. Always love to do this. Whenever um, I have like bridges or anything, or, like underground little sections like this, I love to pop a little uh, terrarium kind of in there. And you see we kind of split it up as well to uh, make it look like two different terrariums uh, with the mulch. I like to put mulch right in the middle and split the terrariums up to make it look like uh, two different ones because the exhibit boxes are a little bit um, big overall. So yeah, you just kind of take a piece of mulch, stick it in the middle there. Um, you can put a few more plants, which I might do. I'll probably put a few more plants in there to kind of uh, even it out a bit but yeah kind of give a, an effect of uh two for the price of one so holy cow we have a uh, we need to bring a weed whacker in here apparently uh, <laughs> i gotta do the terrain paint here but here's your first look and it's uh oh there's no animals here if there was an animal here it'd be really really nice to uh, kind of show off but here's your first look at the savannah habitat and i know that's not really like a big reveal <laughs> or anything but that's technically you can come under here and take a look at the savannah like the actual big savannah habitat that is like the main well probably one of two main i don't know a lot of things in here are the main attraction we have lions elephants a savannah with a bunch of animals this whole section back here is just like gold but anyways before we get over there um as we're approaching over here you get a nice little the lion statue here that we have in game and then uh shout out to oh another shout out i have to do for blueprints uh, i've only used a few blueprints over here but with the ones i did they were uh really really um awesome there so oh no i need to find the plane i'm going to, have to do another cut because i need to look for the plane one second 
Okay, so this is the Crashed Bush Plane by Romano there. So I'll also link that down below. Um, but it's a uh, it's not going to look like just the plane. They actually made like a little scene with it and everything. I took the plane out and kind of edited it a little bit um, to kind of fit up in this tree up there. So um, yeah, that was kind of a fun little idea to have it like a cra like an old crash landed plane up in the tree. And you get this really cool perspective of it as you come out of the cave system there. So we'll get a closer look at that as we go around the corner here. Um, but again, shout out to Simply Savannah. Those are another one of her signs there. Um, yeah, as you come around the corner here, you get another really, uh, really good look usually of a lot of animals for the um, Savannah here. So another look at the, oh, there you go. Speaking of, there's one of them there. A few of them there, right? Oh yeah, play soccer. Kick it again. And hey, there's a warthog. Warthog's not supposed to be in here. All right, little guy. But um, yeah, there's some first looks at our big Savannah habitat. And I mean, big. I This is like... This would be this would be a ginormous. This is the biggest expansion in uh, Thornton Hills uh, history for sure. Even bigger than North America. Hey, there's another one. It must have been feeding time. So uh, yeah, there's a really good look there of all of that there. And then uh, peeking back. Oh, you can't get a good look at it. We won't reveal the uh, the uh, add-on back there yet. But anyways, here's another good look at the. Uh, playing there we go right underneath of it and you get your first really good look at and you probably heard them up until now um, as we walk over here if there were any over here but uh, this is your first look at the lion habitat here and oh it looks like none of them are over here uh, nuts you can kind of see it poking out right there but I have a few of the meat smelling things over here a lot of times though oh you saw the giraffe run back there um, a lot of times you'll see them just kind of laying right here and stuff but looks like they're on the other side there uh so no big deal let's go ahead and keep moving forward we will see lions i promise we will see lions so um nice little fun little custom sign that we made there using um i can't remember what these came from i think the south america pack but um uh, anyways made a fun little custom sign here's some more of those exhibit boxes so there's only two here uh but they're split up into uh make it four basically so again just kind of utilizing space there out of the giant exhibit boxes let's see here as we're going forward um the stuff on the right hand side which are the elephants um a lot of that is not done that's why you see frank still hanging out here for um you know sizing and everything like that but yeah a lot of stuff on the right hand side not done yet there not done actually you know what totally missed a uh, a view there we totally missed a view gotta look at a view but anyways oh yeah here you go here's um your first really good look at the watering hole section of the savannah here so yeah here's where uh, all the animals like to come and hang out for the most part because yeah this is the main uh watering hole area of the savannah so uh, you'll get a really good feel for just how massive it is when we kind of zoom out actually you'll get a good view, uh, feel for it when we go on the upper deck but um yeah, no, again, this is kind of the lower deck uh, watering hole where a lot of the animals, you can kind of see where we were beforehand, too. This is the glass pane, the bridge that we went under, um, and everything like that. So, and above here as well, you can kind of see that jutting out rock, pride rock, basically, right? Uh, yeah, that's a lion habitat right up there. And this is where um, I kind of took realism and I kind of threw it out the door a little bit, just a little bit here because it looked cool. <laughs> that's that's the only that's my that's that's the best I can come up with. It looked cool, but basically, yeah, as you're kind of coming in over this way, uh, a lot of times the lions will come right up to here because their habitat ends right about there. Yeah, that's where the chain link is. Yep, that right ends right about there. Um, but yeah, they could totally come out here, and the game says it's fine, and it looks bad ass whenever they do it so could they jump down and like get all the animals that they would love to eat yeah no 100 percent totally the game says no but yeah no they could <laughs> so um but oh you know what i need to lower this uh fence down you can't really see anything uh but anyways yeah it just it looked really cool so that's again that's like my reasoning there we're gonna leave it because it looks cool so um but there you go let's go ahead and like i was saying head into the, what are these guys doing they're like jumping from rock to rock they're trying to get into the lion habitat y'all don't go over there I've already made it unsafe enough as it is for y'all. You don't understand like what's over there. You have no idea. Well, let's go ahead and head over to the uh, the upper part where we were before. Oh, shout out to the uh, aquatic pack for these new grasses here. These are the new underwater grasses, and they look so good. They're like mini elephant grasses, basically. Um, yeah, I need to finish that out over here. Like I said, everything off to the right-hand side is basically not done, so I'm going to zoom on past it and not even really look not even going to look at it really for the most part so as we come up here just a nice little information um booth there or information building just got done building this right before i got done recording so i might add on some other little detail uh work there but um yeah really took the um honestly <laughs> i've been watching a lot of sdn wolf uh live streams lately so kind of took the sdn wolf approach there of the throw the uh, play the spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks kind of thing and i kind of like doing it just kind of throwing a bunch of stuff on there and 
having fun just kind of mixing and matching different themes and sets and all that fun stuff but yeah we might keep doing that and kind of rein it in and uh, keep going with that so there's a little information booth but as we come across here here's the second half of the uh, lion habitat here now, oh yeah there they are they're over here this is where a lot of their food gets um, distributed um, easily so yeah they'll be right over here but yeah I really like this look here of just kind of the whole uh, lion plains here uh, the big openness uh, area and they'll oftentimes just be sprinting across here and everything so yeah you get really really good views of the lion separated by a nice little water trench there so that's the little bit of protection that we all have from the big lions here but I love how close you uh, feel you can get maybe a little bit too close I guess because they could technically come here but eh, you know it, it works for the most part there so and you kind of get an idea where we were this um, over here is where the um, the glass viewing was for the lions that we first saw so kind of just went underneath and circled around here and there you'll see them always running around and everything so yeah let's go uh, not this way need to set up a little uh, gate to be honest with you because this is where the staff area uh, kind of takes into effect so, yeah right about here oh yeah go in there yeah go help them out um, but yeah this is a staff bridge here copied the bridge from the um, elephant enclosure and just uh, brought it on over here to um, yeah give the staff bridge a little bit of theming but over here uh, some of you might recognize this building here. I did not build this. This was built by Mr. S. Dan Wolf uh, for Suyana, I believe it was. This might be for Suyana, or he either put it, you know, he did. He put this at Suyana there, so. Um, I did a little bit of changes to it, uh, just like adding in some of the, uh, little, another little. Uh, like maintenance shed and stuff like that back there but yeah i just wanted to uh go ahead and throw in an awesome little s dan wolf build there it was fun because i got to see him actually build this on live stream and i was like you know what i mean of course s dan style is not like the same as mine and stuff like that fully but it's still i like it it works in i really like the building and everything it's got so many quirky great little details to it so yeah there's our little there's our s dan build that we uh were able to go ahead and throw in here for the uh for the vet staff i believe there's a veterinary uh clinic inside there so it's uh, great to see the staff interact with it and everything there so yeah shout out to s dan there and uh, make sure you're catching him on his live streams too they're uh they're a ton of fun ton a ton of fun there so yeah glad we were able to um incorporate that into the zoo there so awesome awesome all right let's go ahead and look at the main attraction I mean, there's a lot of main attractions, but this is like one of the main, main, main attractions here of the whole zoo, basically. And this is the giant savanna um, in Africa here in the African section of uh, Thornton Hill Zoo. So it really took a lot, a lot, a lot of inspiration from the uh, Columbus Zoo, and they kind of have something probably a little bit smaller and more reined in than this, but um, they have basically this where it's just a ginormous... Um, savanna area where people can kind of outlook and just see a bunch of different animals roaming together so yeah I like I, said, I think I probably went a little bit overboard with how many animals there are roaming back here and everything like there's a bunch um, but yeah I took every animal that's compatible with itself within the African like biome and section and kind of have them all roaming together initially I had like the max amount not the max but like a good amount of each animal in there it was too much and we had to get rid of um, probably a good half of them we had to Thanos snap a good half of them there but um, but anyways yeah here's just a good big outlook of the um, main savanna area so like like I was saying this is like the upper area you can kind of take a look at them and then the animals can go back that way go towards the bridge there um, and if they circle around this way they eventually get back over around there where the watering hole is so it's a giant like you basically so um, yeah and then oh yeah this is where our educator talks point is um, along with another blueprint here <laughs> all about the blueprints always got to give shout outs when you can here um, these are Brawley yeah these are um, get this right away these are Brawley shades one and two by um and all there and these are awesome i saw these from s dan stream he found these on the workshop um and they're fantastic i use these in almost all of my builds now because they are just such good little uh pieces and really uh, easily customizable as well with the um pieces right here you can easily um go ahead and change the color of the shade and everything new problem there so uh yeah really really enjoy those by and all there so i'll make sure to link those as well and this is where our educator point is too um, so yeah, this is where people come to get the educator points. So awesome, awesome there. Let's head back down this way. And really, it just kind of keeps going. Um, as you can see, just to our uh, big savanna areas. Get really good looks here. Um, a few little out outreaches here, little arms that kind of reach out. And you're way, way, way into the... Uh, Savannah here. Um, oh yeah, for the educator point over this way, made the giraffe 
the main um, educator talk point um, animal there, and they can throw food into the uh, habitat, which is pretty cool there. So really, really like that. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, let's see if I can get down there from here. Frank, can I do it? I didn't get rid of all my Franks yet. I thought I got rid of them all <laughs> for the episode, but not quite. Let's go take a look at the backstage. Can I get there? Can I get there? We might have to boop out. That's fine. I think it's time to boop out anyways. All right. So to look at backstage, we're going to boop out here, which let's see. Where did it put us? Where did I get in here? Oh, yeah. Way back by the Northwoods Adventure area. Let's uh, flash forward here <laughs> to uh, where we were and take a look at some awesome backstage. And I am going to give myself props for this because I think it turned out really cool. And um, again... Uh, shout out to the Columbus Zoo. Yeah, I believe that's where I took a lot of inspiration. Because, uh, yeah, I basically just looked at the Columbus Zoo. Because um, they have really good backstage views of their um, everything they have going on there. And, yeah, just kind of rebuilt a lot of that those buildings and plopped them in here. And took a lot of ideas um, from there as well. So, yeah, here's the big main backstage building. Shout out to Mr. Domez and his um, air duct set that I've shown off many times on the channel there. Um, but that looks really... Oh, God. Why is the... Oh, God. My thing is going left. Stop. Why is this... Stop. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. And my camera's freaking out. Oh, no! What is happening? What is happening? I can't stop going left. Five minutes later. <laughs> okay, um... I just lost complete control of my keyboard, and now it's not even working in Planet Zoo, so we're going to fly around using my Xbox controller and mouse there, basically, so don't mind the UI being up. I just can't hit G to get it off now. So, uh, anyways, backstage building. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun to do there, and it was inspired. I think I, I can't remember even what I mentioned now, because it just took me like five, ten minutes to figure everything out going on. Um, but anyways, inspired by the Columbus Zoo there, um, primarily, and yeah, I love doing all the little detail work here. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really, really well, to be honest with you. Um, no interior work done. So there's the, my one pitfall, my one downfall. No interior work done. But I think I kind of, you know, kind of uh, cheated it enough to make it, <laughs> make it kind of look like there's interior work. Or at least did enough detail work outside to uh, to uh, pass there. But yeah, I uh, um, yeah, just really like how uh, kind of overall realistic it looks. Kind of get a little bit of the terrain paint over the um, oh, jumping wildebeest. Um, <laughs> terrain paint over the uh, road and everything like that. But yeah, this kind of looks all worn in and uh, tucked in and everything. There's a bunch of um, a lot of uh, little blueprints and stuff like that uh, back here from Carlos G and a whole bunch of other amazing uh, creators that we've covered on the channel um, a bunch of times there. But um, yeah, no, again, I this was kind of the most fun I had to be honest with you. And you all know me if you've been following the channel for a while i love to do me some backstage work especially when it uh starts to turn out really really nice and uh yeah just basically from the first building that i did over here it just kind of was i was in the groove for it you know i had some really good concept art or not concept art some really good uh google images and um you know references there it is there's the word uh references to go off of there so just really really got into the mood there of um doing a good backstage and everything like that so yeah there you go there's the um awesome backstage and the savannah and then the last little bit that we're going to show off for phase two here is going to be our we're gonna say african rhinos but you know they're indian rhinos so use your imagination i might have to download nicholas lion Rider's, um mod there for i think it's a black rhino that they have or um whatever it is there but it looks just uh, it'll fit in a lot lot better than having the indian rhinos in our uh savannah section there and everything but yeah no i mean it's still like we have to have some rhinos back here and the the indian they look great still but you know just not quite the same but they will do for now but there is their little section uh there it looks pretty barren um you know i definitely agree there that it looks pretty barren um not that many brush or trees and everything but a lot of the habitats i looked up for them um here especially here in the states they were a lot of trees that kind of had like this like you know no real branches or um, anything that's reachable by the rhinos at the bottom and i think they kind of rub their um their horns up on them perhaps correct me if i'm wrong down there so a lot of the um the uh, bottoms of the trees and everything the trunks and everything kind of uh don't have any of that and yeah for a lot of the brush or uh bushes or grasses or anything i think the rhinos basically stomp on it all day or kind of uh graze on it enough that uh yeah there's not really much in there so it's usually um a lot of either like dirt sand or like really short uh scrubby grasses compared to the savannah and a lot of the savannah stuff i saw it was kind of longer grasses with a little bit of trails um, that would be kind of um, carved out 
with um, you know wherever the animals would be running and stuff there. So um, yeah, so there you go. That is overall the uh, pretty much well completed uh, phase two there of the savanna in the African section here of Thornton Hills Zoo. So the last area that we're going to work on was the everything to the right that I uh, said was not done, and it's very as you can see, you can kind of tell where everything starts to get a little bit more not done. Um, is going to be the rest of the elephant habitat there. So we have the uh, bull habitat up here that uh, I'm working on currently. We're, uh, redoing a bit of the female uh, elephant habitat as well. Um, oh, shoot, before I forget, before I forget, I have to show this off because I've shown this off on my community stream, but um, it's really, really good there. This is the Big Stable by uh, Drorin there. And again, I've shown this off on a community stream before, and I didn't change much of this besides... Uh, oh, that's right, my keyboard doesn't work. I was sitting there... Um, pushing on W and stuff on my keyboard. But right now it's not working in this game for some reason. It's only this game too. I, I just went to Google something and I can still type on it like that. Anyways, Drorin made this shell of a building here. And, um, or not shell, it's, it's very much complete. Um, it was originally all this over here, this material over here, but I switched it out to the, um, for most of it to be the same material that we had um, for the other backstage buildings there. But yeah, look at this interior that they did. I'm gonna kind of go over it real quick again because I've already shown this off in great detail, but um, um, yeah, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect little stable there. If I remember right, Drorin is a zookeeper themselves um, or work in a zoo of some capacity where they are around this stuff all the time. I'm pretty sure they're a zookeeper if I'm uh, remembering right. Um, but yeah, the animals can actually come in here um, and have access to like all of these for the most part. Almost all the animals do, at least like some of the ostriches and stuff. So every once in a while I'll come back here and they just, I'll just see like an ostrich just hanging out, you know, just taking a little snooze, taking a little time off uh, from everybody. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome to see there. So they even have a little bit of um, an exterior to it as well and I've added um, a little bit of um, some exteriors um, that kind of match the same style that uh, they made here oh let's get out of the trees um, but yeah this building in I added and stuff like that just to get some more staff buildings back here uh, to get our staff just kind of rested up um, a bit more so yeah shout out to Drorin and the big stable here which is up on the workshop so you can put it in your zoo as well and yeah it just fits in super super well there so anyways yeah that is again that is phase two uh, nice and done and honestly, I, I didn't expect uh, the second phase was not supposed to be this big. Um, I probably could have put this into four phases um, if I wanted to, but I kind of just forgot to make a video for a little bit and then Thanksgiving came up and got real busy. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show it off now. Um, for all you YouTube folk there, because, uh, yeah, I build on stream a lot for it, but I know a lot of people can't make it to the streams and stuff. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to work on this area primarily uh, for next stream. All this area right over here is going to look a lot different and uh, kind of evolve over time there. So, if you ever get time um, in your day in the next coming uh, weeks there with being off work from uh, for the holidays... Be sure to join us on stream as I am going to be doing a lot of phase three building uh, live for um, for everyone to watch if you'd like to there. And I usually start um, anywhere between 11 a.m. Central Standard Time and 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so there you go. But I guess the last thing I didn't show off was the hippos overhead. Gotta show the hippos off overhead. Here's the hippo habitat. And this was the most random habitat that I put in. Meaning I had no intentions on putting anything like that over here. And then just one day I was just like, you know what? hippos because hippos we need hippos gotta have hippos i hope they can dive one day because i made a deep um swimming area for them right over here uh, before we even knew about the requirements so i hope they get deep swimming uh, mechanics uh one day as well so anyways yeah um there you go everyone go ahead comment down below let me know what do you think of the ginormous expansion that we have going on here for thornton hills zoo and the um savanna in the african section of thornton hills zoo so yeah let me know what you think of all the uh, animals all the expansions so far what do you think of the big um you know savannah wrap around here you can kind of see here where the watering hole is and then it wraps all the way around that way and here's our lion habitat right in the middle there to, um honestly i took a lot of inspiration from s dan in his pine creek series um he did something very similar there so i uh, really like how that turned out but yeah comment down below let me know what do you think there and yeah until the next episode of thornton hill zoo where we show off the phase three which is the final phase basically of the uh this giant expansion of the place uh yeah we will uh see you then thanks so much Thank you.